have a quadratic equation and they want us to solve with the quadratic formula. But before I do that, I want to show you something, family. So remember that with this problem, we could just divide or pull out a GCF of 2. And if we did that, we'll be left with x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. We know the only factors are 3 are 1 times 3. So for us to get the correct signs, negative 4 when we add and 3 when we multiply, they both have to be negative. So our answer would be x is equal to positive 1 and x is equal to positive 3. This is just a shortcut to try in case you do not want to do the quadratic formula. Or if you had a lead coefficient, see if you could pull out the GCF. Now once we do the quadratic formula, we have x is equal to the opposite of b. So that's the opposite of negative 8 plus or minus negative 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times 6. And this is going to be all over 2 times 2. Now once we simplify, this is what we're going to get. Positive 8 plus or minus 64 minus Forty-eight all over four. Now, once we simplify, this is what we're going to get. X is equal to eight plus or minus radical sixteen over four. When we simplify again, X is equal to eight plus or minus four all over four. So eight plus four is twelve. Twelve divided by four. X is equal to three. First answer. We know that's correct. Second answer, 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 divided by 4, x is equal to positive 1. This is why it's important to know more than one method to help you out when you struggle or have issues with another.